Hello, everyone, and welcome to another outstanding installment of the Neverad Miscellany. Uh, as you might be able to hear, I've got a little bit of a cold, so please bear with me. Um, <clears throat> this is the uh, fifth volume, and we are so happy that this strange project we've undertaken has come this far, and we are thankful for all of you here uh, for joining us, and for everyone at home who will be listening to this at a later date. As you all know, it's the holidays, and because we know you, and because we care about you, only a single program during tonight's events will have anything to do with the holiday season. <laughs> You're welcome. <clears throat> As almost all of you will know at this point, this is a live recording. We will be recording everyone up here on stage, but also all of you as well. So please silence your mobile devices at this time if you have not. We've also got some audience participation coming up in tonight's program. I know that uh, some of you in tonight's audience might be a bit on the shy and or introverted side, and I don't want you to panic when the time comes. So in a low pressure environment, such as this introduction provides us, I would like to practice. <clears throat> my, my lovely assistant has some cards with very specific reactions that we would like to get from you when the time comes. <clears throat> we, of course, could have used sound effects instead of your organic, honest-to-goodness reactions, but we didn't want anyone in the audience getting confused as to why they hear themselves cheering and applauding when they aren't making any sounds at all or moving whatsoever. With the epidemic of nearly identical universes occasionally slipping into one another from time to time, we don't want to alarm you. It's really for your benefit that we give you the privilege of making the noises yourself. Consider this a tutorial video on being your best self in our audience right now. And in order to give you a little bit of context for each of the cards, I'll give you a short scenario. <clears throat> scenario number one, the Bleeb Fuggus infants are playing with fire. Ooh. All right. The Zext Autonomous Workers Collective are unionizing your sector. No, we don't like them. We don't, okay, all right. <laughs> Scenario number three, there is a puppy. Nice. <laughs> <clears throat> Scenario the fourth, a fart joke. <laughs> number five, <clears throat> the laser stir, Starting over. Number five, the laser turret starts working again at just the right moment. Close enough. <laughs> and the last scenario, you've just found out you're eligible for wizarding school. All right, that's it for the scenarios. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> this is, uh, you know, I cast myself in everything. Oh boy, all right. I got a lot of talking to do tonight. All right, so uh, perfect. Thank you all for doing your part. It's critical that we have your help in these difficult times. Uh, I've also been told to tell you that there may be a sing-along later. So prepare yourselves for that. We've got an acoustic guitar somewhere, and it's gonna get real. <laughs> I would like to take this time to thank our Patreon patrons, Alex D, Brittany Garcia, Griffin Burlstein, Jessica Gaddis, Kakos Industries, Liz Johansson, Nancy Celaya, Patty Caracas, Russell Scott, and Seth Zard. I would also like to thank everyone in the audience for being here tonight. On the count of three, I want you all to say your names all at once. Three, two, one, go. Consider yourselves thanked. You're like a choir of harmonic mecha angels. And of course, we have to thank the Rebel Lounge for letting us do this nonsense in their space. We've got brand new episode, a brand new episode of Peaceful Digiturnia Heights, The Dark Sovereign, and A Gentleman About Space, and a holiday flashback from Phoenix Lights for you tonight. And we've also got some great interstitial elements. So let's get on with the show. Yeah. <clears throat> 